I'm Lois Greenfield, and I've been a dance photographer since the 1970s. At that time, I was shooting commercial work in fashion, and the client asked me if I could use a medium format passive light camera, and I was used to a SLR. So I borrowed it, and I asked some dancers to come over to my studio, and I'd practice using this camera. You know, there was something to get used to, because I couldn't really look through the viewfinder like I had before, and everything had to fit into a square format and dance is not the kind of activity that lends itself to being enclosed in a square format. But that proved to be revelatory because getting these dancers jumping around, even if they were cropped out of the frame, made a whole new compositional strategy and gave the dancer more of a choreographic energy. I really want the dancers to improvise. I don't want them to perform choreography. And for them, this is a very unique opportunity because dancers have to perform the steps and the timing, everything, when they're on stage. If they're at my studio, they can leave all that at the door and just experiment with how their body moves independent of any particular step. There's no fact in what happens with what the dancers do. It's a matter of the perception of the viewer. And I, I think that's fabulous that we can take a picture that could mean so many different things to so many different people and be so resonant, that's an exciting concept to me rather than saying, this is what I'm shooting and this is what it looks like and this is what it is. I walk into the session without any preconception of what the shoot will be like. And I wanna create some kind of hybrid between what the camera can present and what the dancers can give us. So putting it against a white background automatically took them out of the context of a theater. The shutter on this Hasselblad was so responsive that I could catch any split second. And the thing is, dance happens in space and time, and you don't really have a necessarily get a build up to the moment you want to take. So it's up to the photographer to judge the moment they're going to take. And that's one of my main areas of interest is actually catching that moment that could be a little early, a little late, but it's, it's a moment of transition. It's not a moment where the dancer is holding some arabesque for a long time. The thing that fascinates me a lot about my process and the pictures is that you really can't see these moments with your naked eye. Even if you were standing there while I was shooting, you wouldn't see them because it's beneath the threshold of human perception. So, I mean, I feel I'm bringing out some piece of reality that can only be seen as a photograph. It can't be seen with our naked eyes. 